hey hello guys welcome back in this video i will be solving another question and this is very important question in terms of unit testing kind of thing okay so the question saying that uh, you know data validation between source and ta target table you know how you can do a validation uh, you know data validation between your tables okay so you can assume that we are giving this uh, source data and you know uh, we are giving this is the target data or target data frame you can see id name and we have everything you know now you know you can assume that this is the data present in the source side and we have copied the data or we have saved the data into uh, some location right which is the target data now you can see here this id and name and you can see this id 1 and a i mean these two rows are matching with the target then we are good but here in the source we are having three I mean th for third id the name is c and for fourth the name is uh, d right now if i go over here we have three the value of three is x in target and the same value for four is f so it means these two rows are not matching apart from this you can see five is not present here and six is not present in the you know uh, source so it means there are some mismatches so we have to actually create a kind of framework we can say or write a solution so that we can understand how many rows are matching how many rows are not matching like that right so chalo, let's see how we can do that so first of all i will import here some functions i will be using here call or when maybe right now see uh you know there 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 could be multiple ways by which we can solve this question maybe we can use here accept or you know set something like that we can use but i will be using here join method so what i will be doing i will be making a file underscore df and here i will be using source df dot join and target underscore df right and here what i will be doing i will be using source underscore df dot id is equal to is equal to target underscore df dot id and then i what i i i do i do i write here full join right full out full underscore out also you can write but i just use here full join now if i do here display right then You can see it is showing like this id name id name now you can see this is the source and this is the you know uh, target wala thing right now you can see over here for this three it is not matching right for this row it is not matching for this five it is not i mean the five id is present in the source but five id is not present in the sink so we have to actually write it down and the same thing you know uh, this six id is present in target but six id is not present in sync so likewise we have to solve the you know write the solution so for that you know what i will be doing i will be you know uh, doing this like this right and here i will be creating a kind of you know uh, column result we can see and here i am going to write a case when statement so in pyspark we use when only right we call a function when and here what i will be doing i will be making a condition so what is the condition what should be the condition source underscore df id is equal to is equal to so uh sorry target underscore df dot id if it is matching and source underscore df is equal dot name is equal to is equal to target underscore df dot name okay so if this is matching and if this is matching it means source and sync or source or targets are equal right so for that what i can do i can write here just a minute huh i can write matching something like that i can do right so just to show you the answer i will do here display of final underscore df oops man missing one required position value okay this is this and this is this and one one more bracket should be there no sorry just a minute this ends here this ends here so i have to actually put one more Uh, 
one minute this source is here and this condition is here right so and this condition will end here and this should not be here this should be here now you can see we have we got the output like result matching matching that's true but for this case what should be the uh, logic id should be matched but name should not be matched if ids are matching but the names are not matching that it means it is not man non not matching right so i will again use here when and i'll just copy the uh, you know this thing and put it over here and here i will use not equal to right and it is non matching again the same issue comes it happens you know again i have to make it correct so what i can do i can write this code like this so that i can understand easily right see the source is here this ends here so i have to make one more bracket and now it seems it's good now it is showing non matching that's true right now for this case you know for id i mean for this row you know what should be the logic if uh, if id i mean for source id is not null and and target id is null right so again i will use here when and here you know i will be writing source source df dot df dot is null is not null right sorry is is null and here i will be using this symbol okay and target df dot is null okay if it is then i have to keep in one bracket if this is the case then i can say that the source is not matching uh, target not present something like this okay so this value ends over here i should not be using this bracket and like this oops is null is not present data frame does not have a object is null so underscore dr can i use this method no right um okay see i mean i'm getting one issue some issue so that should be if you do not need to worry is is not null i'll just remove this condition for now and we'll see whether it's running it or not is not null also not present something is wrong happening one just a minute source underscore df dot is just a minute okay so i have imported here the fu uh, the function right and now if i use here is it should come now is null again it is facing an issue it is throwing an issue okay if i give like this okay so i am i am i am doing a very silly mistake so here you know i should write here source underscore df 
dot id dot is null now now it should come right so is null like this i should do so if i go ahead and you know run this code then we'll see the output it is showing target not present but this is not correct right so ideally i have to write this uh okay i have to write and condition write source df source df id is null so is not null first of all is not null and you know target df dot id dot uh, you know is null if it is null then target is not present right that should be the uh, thing right now i just make it proper and what i'll do i'll just copy the same thing and remove one thing right like this again do this and here what i'll do i'll do the vice versa so is null and is not null then it means source not present right now i, I so you know ideally i have to use here id column right not name name so for that you know what i can do i can write here select and select in select i can use colis okay colis i can use uh, you know um, source df dot id right comma target underscore df dot id now you might be asking hey saga why did you use this colis function over here so what will happen you know this is not a colis for partition this is something you know if this column is null then it will consider this column so you can you can see here for for this id for row number six id column is uh, null over here so it will take this value six and it will give us the answer okay and with that you know uh, i have to give a alias also otherwise it, it will give some you know random thing and i need a result column also so i can just write here like this i think it should work now if i run this now you can see it is uh, giving i mean it 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 gave us this solution right so i hope that you understood this concept and this is very important question and this may this this question might not ask you uh, in the interviews but i but ideally you know you have to do all these uh, you know uh, things in your daily work in your data engineering or database so, you know job right so i hope that you have understood it and please share this course with your friends if you are liking it so thank you bye bye we'll meet you in the next lecture